Hi, everybody, and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel, and welcome to Traveling with Russell, the second channel name. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and here we are still in the countryside in Moscow. Uh, we're going to take you for a walk around of a traditional Russian dacha, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, let's go. So this dacha is about 150 kilometers from Moscow, and it's in a really quiet kind of a uh, wooded area. It's very green at the moment because they've had a lot of rain. And we're going to take, a uh, take Jen along with us, and she's going to point out the dacha. So basically when you drive down the kind of the side lane here, most of them are gated, right? Right. So they have a lot of privacy. Yeah? Yeah. Privacy policy. And you can see kind of the neighbors just uh, over the next fence. And it kind of a little bit, there's not so many uh, dachas on this side. But on this side of the, uh, I wouldn't call it a road, but uh, on this side there's more. Okay, let's head on inside. Yeah, let's go inside. All right. So a dacha is the name of a country house, right? Right. Mm-hmm. What else should we point out? Jen's going to do all the talking in this, even though she didn't want to. So normally when you arrive, you open the gates and then you've got a place to park your car here. This is kind of cool. Just look uh, from the entrance here. There's a big apple tree right here. It's kind of like a wild apple tree. They're not very big apples. They're about the size of a plum, but you can definitely pick them off the tree right here. And... They're not exactly ripe at the moment, yeah? Right. So they're well, edible, they're but... It's, uh, how's it taste? Sour. Sour. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So, and then on the left-hand side here, zucchini. we actually have... Uh, what is it again? Zucchini. A zucchini plant. This is a giant zucchini plant. Now, you probably won't be able to get an idea of the size of that, but it's about one meter in size, yeah? Yeah. It's huge. It's not tasty for now because it's too big. It's too big? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Always the problem with too big. So there's basically two houses here. There's one that's the kind of bathroom and garden shed mm -hmm. on one side. Yeah. And the main house on the other, on this right hand side. Now, last night, before we went to sleep. Now, what did you tell me, Jen, that was down here? What did you tell me? That there's a hedgehog. Yeah, we're Hedge waiting a hedgehog. We're waiting a hedgehog. So last night they put food here and some milk. It's new food. Though. And when we came this morning, the food was eaten and we put some new food, <laughs> but we still haven't seen the hedgehog. Yes? Waiting, waiting. Still waiting? Yeah. So uh, with the dacha houses, it really depends on the construction and how much people build. Because you're only going to spend uh, weekends here, most of them aren't fully built out, right? Right. So this particular dacha where we're staying with friends, it has water, but it's from a well. Now, when I first arrived uh, here yesterday, it was quite funny because it looks like one of those wishing wells, would you say? Where you drop the money to make a wish. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're not really going to point this out too much, but I just thought I'd sort of show you it. And then there's actually a submersible pump at the bottom. And that's what the cable's running here on the right-hand side. So then there's basically a pipe running from the well where it takes the water. Yeah? Yeah. And then this actual dacha doesn't have an indoor bathroom. So there is actually an outdoor toilet. It looks very much like an Australian outhouse, uh, which is very common in the dachas here. You can probably see the neighbors just behind, right there. And then the next neighbor, it's a little bit hard to see, but uh, over here, oh, over here a little bit, you can see their bathroom as well. So they actually have an outside toilet, which is very common because they don't have uh, plumbed water because it's really is a country area, right? Right, right. Right, you can talk more than me. So guys, this is a little bit of an informal walk around. I uh, hope you guys get a good insight into country life. And Jen doesn't want to be as famous just yet. She's working on it. I'm not ready. So this is the second part of the bathroom. There's lots of nice flowers in the garden too. Uh, some lavender right here. There's some more plants over here. 
So basically when you come for the weekend, you kind of do a little bit more each time, yeah. a little bit of gardening, lots of relaxing, having a barbecue. Yeah. And you'll see here where we had our barbecue yesterday. If you did watch the previous video, you'll see where we had the uh, pork and vegetables right here. Pretty straightforward, put some coals on. So this is actually the outdoor bathroom or indoor, well, it's basically a, an outhouse bathroom. Mm -hmm. So you basically can brush your teeth outside and then there's a small shower in here. So these are basically uh, in the bath, the actual sink right here. And then there's the shower right there. Now the shower actually runs from a tank on the roof, which we can't really see. Um, but it has the water flowing from the roof through the shower, but it is very coldy water, very cold. Uh, it's not hot water in any way, so it's good and refreshing. So basically that hose pipe from the well, it's not drinkable water, but we can use it for washing dishes, cleaning the barbecue, and then we run the cable then inside to get the pump working. Uh-huh. And... You want to go outside? Inside. 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 There's a little seating area right here where we can sit and have breakfast and lunch. And let's check out the other things. So this is actually a two-level dacha. So there's the upstairs as well. We won't head up there, but there's basically two bedrooms on the next level. And there's lots of extra beds. So if you want to bring loads of family over, there's probably enough room here to sleep. Yeah, I don't know, 10 or, 10 or 15 people. You think? And then in here is kind of a lounge room. A TV on. Watching TV. There's uh, Olya right there. He's watching a movie right now. So again, you'll see all the beds kind of come sofas. This is kind of one part of the makeshift kitchen where you can boil water, spices right there. And if you want to make tea, and then there's a nice uh, table here where we can sit and have dinner as well. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you not pointing out anything? No, it's all me. All you. And then here's the second part of the kitchen. So again, there's no running water into the dacha, which is very normal in Moscow. Unless you're really, really wanting to make it kind of upscale and have a sink. But you won't have any running water because it's a, such a remote area. There's no running water. And then the fridge. So, yeah, there actually is a microwave here, kettle, and everything you need. And then this is where we get, uh, if you saw in the other video, we went to the, the, to the stream and got the water. And this is all drinkable water from that, uh, what do we call that, a pipe where the water came in. Yeah. So there we go. Let's, we can head on outside. And there's actually the main electrics right there. So yeah, when we when we arrived yesterday, we basically came in the night time or the day before. This is now day three, day three of being here. We came late night the night before. Yeah, three. So you just have to find the electrics to put them on. And most people kind of park their car inside. And we've got our trash to take away. And simply, oh, you'll see the clouds coming a little bit now. Maybe it'll be raining. You think raining? Maybe later? Maybe later. Mm hmm. But uh, when you come here for the weekend, you can really do as much as you like or as little as you like. A lot of people like to slowly relax. make. Relax. Relax. Relax, make shashlik, drinking beer, relax, <laughs> cutting grass. Yeah. So, I yeah. I promise cutting grass. Oh, I promised to cut the grass. Uh -huh. Maybe I can still can. Of course. We have time. We're not leaving for a little while. Yeah. So, uh -huh. hope you've enjoyed this walk around of a traditional Russian dacha here in Moscow. Now, what's the area that we're in? Uzunova. Uzunova. Yeah. And you'll see in the other video where we went to the town yesterday and bought food for us to eat. And yeah. So, what are we going to say? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I like cruise ships. I like cruise ships. And what's the other name? Traveling with Russell. Uh-huh. And then what's the most important thing?
Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed, click subscribe. subscribe. Click subscribe. And if you maybe want to post a comment, you can write a comment. Maybe you can write something to Jen, ask her some questions. And she can give Better you a... Better Russian. Huh? Better ask me in Russian. Oh, okay. Russian uh, video instead. Yeah. yeah? All right. Well, thank everybody for watching. Thank you. And catch you later. Bye. Bye.